currently on cell six. Uh, we've come to a construction joint in the concrete cap. And as you can see, we have some deterioration in the concrete itself, which has exposed the rebar. But again, we are in an area of a previous repair. As you can see, the epoxy is still in place, as well as there is no voids between the concrete and the sheet pile. Stand by. Currently located on cell 7, uh, we are at the westernmost face of it and we have found a hole which is 36 inches down from the cap. It measures 4 inches high by 5 inches wide. Located on cell 51A, we've come out to the west face and we've come to a construction joint in the cap. And as you can see, we do have deterioration in this area, as well as exposed rebar. Uh, we do have previous repairs of aquacrete in behind, creating a seal, which are in place and intact. As you can see, we also do have exposed rebar in this area. Currently on cell 46, just south of the ladder, we have found a hole in the sheet pile. And just stand by that is a small hole. One inch high, one inch and a half wide. And the cape, do you see it? Pan in. Okay. We have four inches of sandy material in this area, so I've cleared it away so we can see the joint between the concrete base and the dolphin itself. We can see on the north side, there is no gap. The concrete is tight to the dolphin. We make a way around to the east side. We can see there does not appear to be as much sandy material. Just clear some of it away here. The gap between the sheet pile and the concrete base is approximately half of an inch. Do you see that there? Yeah, Roger. Are you able to probe down between them? I'm able to probe down approximately one inch down into the gap. Do you see that there? Hold that. Okay, Roger, thank you. And these holes are approximately 13 inches wide and 15, 13 inches high, so 13 inch square. There's four of these large holes on the left side and eight small ones down below. Smaller ones measure four inches wide by four inches high. And we see there is some algae. The line covering is fairly equal All on the west side here. How covered would you say that side is? Some areas we can see these holes. They were 50% coverage on some, others very little. At the top of the screen, we see that it's been damaged and it's bent outwards. How far is it bent out? At its maximum point, 10 inches. And uh, how far, how long is that affected area? Pretty much the whole length of the screen. At the other end, it's only cut out about 2 inches. Don't cut out 2 inches. This whole screen section basically needs to be replaced. And the length would be? The length of the damaged section is, is basically the full length of that screen. 
So this screen area needs to be replaced. And we can see the algae coverage on the bars. Can you see within the intake screen itself to the intake out inlet? Well, we can see the algae moving into the intake, and there is flow at the moment as the algae is being sucked into the intake. Can you see if there's any debris within the screen? Well, there's no debris in the intake, and there's no nothing here stuck on the screen. Roger, can you pan On the east side, we have two lifting eyes in place. On the southeast screen, two lifting eyes in place. Southwest screen, the damaged one, both lifting eyes are in place. And on the western screen, also both lifting eyes are in place. So three of the four screens need to be replaced. Turnbuckles are in place. The turnbuckle, sir. On the top, holding the screen to the wall. Yes, the two supporting brackets are in place and firm. And same on the east side. <laughs> 